there. Welcome back to another Eye Care for Your Brain with board certified neuropsychologist, Dr. Karen Sullivan. We are getting very close to Valentine's Day, my favorite holiday, and I have a present for you. You are cordially invited to nine free brain health master classes starting this Wednesday. February 14th, 2024. You are going to be receiving here on the I Care For Your Brain YouTube channel a free 45 to 60 minute lecture on the nine pillars of brain health. What I would love to ask you for in return is if you would kindly help us spread the word, share the lectures, tell a friend, make a post on social media. Right now, I'm gonna tell you all the details of these master classes. And we are proudly sponsored by the foundation of First Health through the Reed Fellowship for Healthcare Transformation. Now, some of you might be new to the channel, might not really know too much about me, so I did think it was probably wise to start off with a little bit of an about me segment. I have basically had two careers in my life. I was a caregiver for many years, a therapeutic companion, did direct care for people with dementia, and then I went on and had an academic medical career. So I have a PhD from Boston University University, did my fellowship at Harvard Medical School through the Boston VA, worked at UNC School of Medicine in physical medicine and rehab inpatient neuropsychology, and am a board certified neuropsychologist. For the last six years, I have been doing this I Care for Your Brain program, which is basically going around in person, uh, mostly in the Carolinas and online, trying to get evidence based brain health into people's minds so they can be their very best advocate. And I was motivated to do this because I was really concerned that there was an increasing gap between science-based brain health and products that people were being pitched that were not going to give you a return on your investment to be able to improve memory, help you concentrate better, improve your quality of life. We also take a very whole person approach here to brain health. So not only will I always give you a summary of the very best that science has to offer, we're also gonna remember that we are just not our brains. We have to use a whole person approach to diagnosis and to treatment if we're actually gonna do a really good job. So the, the real reason that you all are interested in this is because you want to know more about your brain. If we poll older adults specifically over the age of 65, what do they care about as they get older? What they tell us is that brain health is a priority and it's even more of a priority than physical health or even things like, will social security be there for me as I get older? 70% of older adults tell us, I'd really like to hear about this from my doctor, but instead, where do I get my information? I get it from magazines, I get it from commercials. And part of that is related to the changing landscape of healthcare, that doctors have a supply and demand issue. We have a lot of patients that need to be seen and Unfortunately, we're getting squeezed tighter and tighter on the amount of time, face-to-face -face time, that we have to do that care. Corporations who are sponsoring the messages for the products in the what we call brain fitness world often sponsor what you read in magazines or see in commercials, which makes us question their truthfulness and brings exploitation into the factor. So, I do not support any brain health supplement. There is no phone app. There's no computer game that at this point lives up to its promise to help you maintain or enhance brain function and certainly not to prevent or reverse brain diseases, including dementia. The vast majority, I mean, almost all of the products on the market are very much going to leave you without the same amount of time, hope, or money. And that is a concern to those of us who care about brain health and older adults. So this industry, this brain fitness industry has really gotten out of control to the point where this general scientific community knows that it's kind of a scam and have actually said things like, we are very worried older adults are being exploited by this brain fitness industry. And that was really something that weighed on me in 2015, 2016. I really felt like I had a responsibility to try to do better and just to get higher quality information out to the public. So that is when I decided to create this nine part series. This is the free master classes that you guys are going to get starting on Valentine's Day, one a week for nine weeks. And what you're gonna do is be able to watch it free here on 
YouTube, but you're also going to have the option of being able to buy a companion workbook for it for just $7. So these are usually uh, about 80 page um, PDFs that you'll get immediate access to. They have all my slides. They have full length articles about the topics. They have behavior tracking sheets, which really the whole point of knowing better is doing better. So not only do I want you to be entertained by this information and, um, in, in, and made more knowledgeable, what we're really looking for is to change things. What are the behavior modifications that you can do that science tells us genuinely does result in a stronger, more disease resistant brain? And a lot of it really has to do with what we call gene environment interactions. And all of it comes back to behaviors, not products, not things you can buy in a bottle, not things you can just take. It's really this balance between lowering our known risk factors for dementia and increasing something we call our cognitive reserve. So these Brain Health Master Classes are here to you at no cost to give you the structure of how to have a healthy brain. So what are the nine pillars of brain health. So the first one we're going to start off with is some very, very solid introductory education. So understanding the aging brain, what is normal and when to worry. And this is really important because what this brain fitness industry is counting on is that you are going to be able to be made anxious by normal age related changes. So they're going to take something like walking into a room and forgetting what it is you came in for and scare you into thinking that that is the tip of the iceberg, that that is the very beginning tipping point of the looming upcoming dementia. So I need you to understand what is normal as we get older and when should you actually be worried and what should you do about it if you're worried. So I go through what to say to the doctor, exactly what examples to bring in. It's a very good, solid introductory lecture into brain health. Then number two, uh, this will be the next Wednesday after that, we're gonna talk about how to minimize your risks for dementia over the lifespan. And what is so interesting about this is brain health is not just something you should care about once your hair turns gray. It's actually something that has, dementia has risk factors from in utero. So we're gonna go through all the developmental phases, toddlerhood, school age kids, young adults, middle-aged adults, older adults, and really understand at every point, what are the things that if left unchecked or poorly controlled, do go on to increase your risk of dementia. And what you have to really think about with risk factors is that they're cumulative. They often build on each other. And the longer they go unchecked, unmonitored, unchanged, the more cumulative impact that they have. The third lecture, you're gonna learn for about an hour all about heart health and brain health, how to take control of things like blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, sleep apnea, anything that interferes with the optimal circulation of oxygen and glucose in the brain is focused on that lecture. Number four, we're gonna really get into substances and how do substances affect the brain. So we're gonna talk about the only diet that we know has solid evidence to slow down brain aging, reduce your risk of Alzheimer's. We're gonna talk about alcohol, we're gonna talk about supplements, I'll kind of debunk the popular ones that I don't think really do anything. Number five lecture, we're gonna get into the psychology of aging and the impact of stress and the unique stressors that happen to us as we get older. And this kind of brings us in to this whole person approach to brain health. We don't just wanna think about the brain as a three and a half pound organ that does X, Y, and Z, right? The brain is the organ of the self. It is the biology through which our spirit expresses and experiences itself. And so we wanna make sure that we're not taking kind of a medicalized, reductionist view of brain health. So we're gonna start midway through the master classes to start to really expand it and talk about things like how we manage stress, how it is our relationships make a difference. In lecture number six, we're gonna talk about the importance of social connection. And that saying, it takes a village, is never more true at both ends of the developmental spectrum. So when we are really young, we really benefit from a solid, dependable, trustworthy community. And the same thing is true at the 
end of our lives, the last decade to two decades of our life. We're going to talk about all of the contributions that being socially engaged makes to brain health. Number seven, we're going to actually talk about what works to improve memory. What does the literature say actually works? And there is about 10 what we call internal strategies, things you can do within your own mind, and about 15 external strategies. So these are the things like how do you compensate? What is it you should write down? What is it you should be using as something to help yourself remember? A lot of times that's what these brain fitness products promise is improved memory, but they cannot deliver. We're then going to go in lecture number eight to how sleep changes with age, the impact of mood and memory. That is usually a very popular one because most of us will have some more sleep disruption, changes in the circadian rhythm and the release of cortisol and melatonin as we get older. So we'll talk about why that changes. We'll try to normalize it a little bit and then I'll help you understand what to do. And within sleep treatment, there's a lot of what not to to do. So that is a very important one. And then in your ninth master class, you're going to actually bring it all together. I'm going to take my top 10 recommendations of the whole series, and we're going to put them together so you understand how is it that they can work synergistically together? How is it that brain health really is whole person health? What does it mean to just do one thing here or one thing there versus try a little bit of everything and see that cumulative impact? So just like the risk factors are cumulative, so are the protective factors. And I want you to know more and more of the ones that you can do that will actually give you that return on investment that you deserve. So like I said, the lectures are always going to be free. Happy Valentine's. Um, but we are going to sell for $7 for each of the lectures a PDF companion workbook. So like I said, you'll get all my slides so that way you don't have to sit there and try to take notes. And after each slide, there's actually a note taking section. So sometimes people like to buy the workbook ahead of time so that they can watch the lecture and take notes. It's also going to have trivia, um, those behavior tracking sheets, the full length articles. Um, we really did it because sometimes people learn best not just hearing but they learn better by also having a visual and brain health and strengths come in all different colors and flavors so when we were designing i care for your brain with this nine series lecture um classes, we wanted to make sure that we were supporting learning and behavior change on every level. So it's a very beautiful companion workbook. It is graphically very, very pleasing. It is very easy to use. This isn't like a Word document with a bunch of letters. This is a really quite a beautiful uh, workbook that really goes along and enhances the lecture quite nicely. So starting every Wednesday on Valentine's Day for nine weeks, free master classes. I hope you guys love it. I hope that you learn from it. I hope that you apply it. And I can't wait to read your comments. Please tell me what you think and how is it that you are transitioning learning into action in your everyday life. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.